Jeremy, what what did this mean to you and the team to be able to reach a bowl game? Um, you know, as always, first and foremost, all the glory goes to the man above. You know, without him, none of this would be possible. Um, it means a lot just looking back, like all the ups and downs that we had, you know, in our season. Um, the amount of players that you know have gone due to injury and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's just a good feeling knowing that we can. Uh, get the seniors out, you know, with one more one more game. I'm wearing the Maryland jersey on their chest and um it's just a overall great win. We have another chance to um you know finish off with a winning season. And um, yeah it's just a it's just a good feeling winning overall. But as always it always goes to God. Early on, look like you had several slant passes or secondary receivers came crossing. One of them I think was Brian Cobbs. <laughs> Was Corey Deitches? What did you see in the defense that gave you those uh, touchdown passes? Um, yeah, the first one, the Cobbs was a um, third down. I think it was like a third and eight. And um, you know we were expecting man coverage, but they dropped out. I think it was cover six. And um, you know Cobbs, he has a dig route. But one thing that he did good was you know, he sat in the soft spot. And um, you know, that's something Cobbs been always doing this whole year. And um, you know. It's, that was a big time third down, you know, to extend the drive, um, you know, for our first drive. And that was the biggest thing because we always want to start fast. And, um, you know, that was, and then the one to Dykes, um, that was just a good route by him. We caught him in the right coverage we wanted him in. Maryland's legal newspaper has named the Jacklets Law Group the very best, best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. Network Solutions, Managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. And you know, obviously in the second half there Rutgers started to push back a little bit. You guys you guys went back out and just, just kept scoring, just kept scoring, kinda of kept the pressure up on them. You know, what is it what does it sort of show that you guys have been able to progress to the point where those little sort of you know, bumps in the game don't really cause a spiral and you guys can, you know, push back and counter? Uh, I feel like we, we've been in some games where we've gotten up and kind of got comfortable and stuff like that, and then we let it get close. And we might finish out with a win, but we let it get to a point where it shouldn't have ever been. So one thing that we did a good job today as players and the coaches helped as well is just getting back to neutral. Um, we would have a big drive, have a score or whatever. It's like 0-0. Zero, zero. Just like reset the scoreboard in your head. Don't even look at the scoreboard. And then when we came out in the second half, same thing, 0-0. Zero, zero. And then just uh, keep the competitive mentality going. Brian, it seemed like Coach Loxley has kind of been waiting for you to have one of these big games. Do it on the day where uh, a loss would have meant your career is over. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what was your approach coming in, and how does it feel now? Oh, just I got to do, got to leave it all out. As, as, at the end of the day, I was like, I don't want to come in here with any sad feelings or anything like that. I broke the team down um, before we came in uh, after warmups, and I was like, I got y'all, y'all got me, and they everybody yelled back, they got me. So I knew it was gonna be one of those days, um, and then just coming out playing with confidence as a team, um, that was the biggest thing. And then my success was not even really due to me, just. Him and then everybody else doing their own job. So I was really happy that we were able to accomplish that. Now in retrospect for you, Brian, looking back at your career and then looking now still what you have left here, how what do you think that this bowl game can do for the program as a whole and the culture as a whole that you and the rest of the seniors and players have been building? Uh, I think the class of 2018 that kind of came in, we, we, were, we went through a lot of ups and downs and being able to get this bowl game and really we feel like it's the flip. Um, it's the flip to the next season. Coach Lockett said this is the end of 2021 season and the bowl game will be the start of the next season. So mm -hmm. that'll be able to have a lot of developmental time for the younger guys. Mm -hmm. um, us just kind of fine tune some things and then just really get the things moving forward. I know Turf Nation's happy back home, so being able to get this win for them is really good. Thank you. Um, was there any difference in the feel of the team today in the sense that this was put up or shut up time mm -hmm. and you guys came out and you were really aggressive and scored twice first two possessions? Was that motivating at all? or? <laughs> now, I feel, I, we, we know that we can move the ball against anybody. The biggest thing with us is just eliminating penalties, um, not killing ourselves for real, for real. So 
when we were able to do that, we scored on the first drive pretty quickly. We were like, all right, we see what we can do. And now it's just staying disciplined, doing this each and every drive, no matter what the defense does. And we felt like if we, if we do that, we can come out on top. Time for two more for bus uh, Any magic in those Terps helmet and those throwback jerseys for you guys? <laughs> uh, so I was saying we had a leadership meeting on Thursday. Um, Coach Lottie, he always asks us every Thursday what we're going to wear. And we kind of think, I forget who asked, who asked the question back, but they were like, what are our options? Um, mm -hmm. Because Coach Lockett kind of, yeah, because I think Jacorian probably has mm -hmm. one of our options because he kind of mandates what we're wearing regardless of what we think. Uh, <laughs> so he was like, look, we're going white turf script. Um, and we know that we got that win versus West Virginia when we wore that. Um, and he said, when we wear a turf script, we win. So coming in, that was another thing that was on our mind that we knew we had to get accomplished wearing that uniform. Would you wear those all the time if it was up to you? I, I, yeah, we tried to, we tried to wear it last week, I think. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. That's a good mix up. We, yeah, we, we tried to wear it last week. Um, but yeah, we, we really like those. It's probably our number one our option right now. Awesome. Um, for either or both of you, I mean, what, what did it feel like on the field at the end when you got to have that moment of celebration, take the picture, or something you maybe haven't felt in a while? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just a it's just a good feeling. You know, we've been through so much as a team. Um, you know, to make it to a bowl game, that's like what Coach Box talked about taking the next step. We want we want to be the team to do that. You know, not next year, not the following year. You know, we want to be the team to start start that, and um, you know, from here on out to just keep progressing, more more wins, and um, I mean, it's just a good feeling knowing that you know we accomplished that now, and you know, we have another game. I'll, I'll, I'll still say something else, but um, I feel like we had we hadn't really played our perfect game yet, um, and coaches, offense and defense kept saying that. We've had games where offense was really good or defense wasn't and flipped vice versa. So I feel like this game on offense, had special teams, defense, offense, um, we really did our thing. And uh, that was, and in the season on that, that was a really good note. So that's kind of all I got. Thank, Thank you guys. guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going bowling.